Hey everybody, this is Scorpion here. Um, so I figured I would show or teach something new. I plan on posting this on all three of my channels. Uh, just so people can find this. Uh, this is something I have not done yet, but I've done some research on and I'm getting started, uh, I guess, as of today. So y'all stick around if you think this might be something you're interested in. A little bit of free cash. Rock, 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 bottle on the track, boy. Alright, so I would say this probably goes more to the, um, Metal Melton channel and Scrapping channel. However, uh, I know there's people in the coin community that pour a lot of metal. So the video after this kind of breaks stuff down a little bit more in depth. Uh, I'm coming back and inserting this before that part uh, just so you can kind of watch it be done. I have. Uh, I don't know if it's different in areas or states or what, but I'm finding that probably uh, 95 to 96% of these wheel weights are um, lead. Uh, probably about 3 or 4% or so are uh, steel and maybe one percent is zinc uh, i would be interested to know if this is different in other areas so if anybody's ever done this before or has any idea um, let me know but i know there's a lot of people in all three communities for that matter that uh like to get their hands on some free metal that they don't have to pay for and um you know, lead is one of those metals that's kind of difficult to come by. So, here's a way for you to get free lead. Um, pick it up, melt it. Well, pick it up, sort it, and melt it. Um, went to like four or five places today and all of them were super happy to give it to me. Um, for free. And you can always take your steel and, and turn it in at a scrap yard uh, your zinc <clears throat> you can turn it in at the scrap yard and the lead you can turn in at the scrap yard uh, especially if you take the time to melt the um, the zinc and copper or I'm sorry the zinc and lead um, of course all of them have these little clips on them they're steel so when you throw it in, you let it heat up, these clips will float to the top. You just scoop them off with a spoon, and then you can pour your little ingots and uh, get maximum value that way instead of dirty lead or whatever. And uh, I think I said in the in the video later, you know, you can, as you, you know, some people use it to make pew pew things. Some people uh, just like to have a little stack of it. Um... But yeah, I, I literally, when you're sitting here watching me go through this stuff, <clears throat> it's super easy. It does take a little bit of time. Um, I was quite concerned about this at first. Um, but the lead ones, if you grab a hold of it and squeeze, it's going to make a mark. You can just grab it by the edge and squeeze whichever way. If it leaves a mark it's lead um, if you squeeze it and it doesn't make a mark it's zinc because uh, you're going to have to squeeze pretty hard to make a, a mark in zinc everything that I've seen with FE on it has been uh, steel see no mark this is MCZN all my zinc ones have had a ZN on it so far um, and I mean, I don't know if y'all can see it. It made a mark, but not like if you use the same amount of pressure on the um, lead ones, 
you make a, a way bigger mark. So after you do a few and you find your first zinc one or two, you get kind of comfortable and it becomes real easy just to kind of go through and squeeze it and toss it in whichever bucket it needs to go in. And as y'all can see, I'm sitting inside doing this. So it's not hard. Some of them are painted. Some of them aren't painted. Um, but, I mean, once once I get done doing this, um, next day or so, I will probably uh, give y'all some idea of how much I picked up. That one's stamped. FE. So it's steel. Um, I'll give y'all some idea how much weight I have of what. Of course, the only one that will be 100% accurate is going to be the steel one because the clips are steel. So when I go to Melton, you know, the other stuff, we will be removing the steel clips. And I'm going to show a video on all this. So, uh, so if you ever want to do it, you'll know how to go about doing it or one way to do it. But I talked about being able to hold a temperature in the other video and that would actually speed this process up quite a bit because um, you really wouldn't have to test them if you've got something like that so might be something I invest in one day I'm throwing some of these in the wrong bucket so I gotta dig that one back out um, but anyway just a little uh, update here I thought I'd add in there for y'all um, hope y'all enjoy and uh, the part coming up kind of explains a little better all right, so here's kind of where we stand. So I've been wanting to get a hold of lead. Um, everywhere I've gone and talked to them where they change tires and stuff, they're like, yeah, you can have the, the wheel weights, no problem. You know, just bring a bucket, we'll swap them out, and you know, come by every so often, we'll swap them out for you. So there's a lot of places around here that do tires. One way to get some free lead. As I got to doing some research, I found out Wheel weights are not all lead anymore. There's three main types. You've got steel, you've got zinc, and you've got lead. Those are the three main types um, that you're going to run into. So I'm like, well, how do you tell them apart? So I got to doing some research on that. So there's a whole lot of stuff. You can try to track your, your letters that are on here. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. That's AW. But there's a whole lot of letters. This is an M, that's AW. That's AL14, that's AL-EN, that's just AL. These say micro on them. These have T's. This has a uh, FE. Um, all these right here say MC. All these have a P on them. Um, these have FE on them. Or that one does. This one doesn't have anything. It just says 25. Looks almost like there's a leaf in the middle. Um, you know, you've got some you can't read. This is a TT. Uh, I have no idea what that reads. That's in a language I don't understand. That's a M14. So I was like, yeah, this is going to be confusing. That's not going to work out too well. So I got to doing some more research. So I know your melting point of lead is about 621.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 327.5 Celsius. Um, zinc is 787 Fahrenheit, and that's uh, 419 Celsius. Steel is like 2500 to 2800 Fahrenheit, which is... 1371 to 1540 in Celsius. So if you have a big melting pot that you can put the stuff in together and you can control the temperature and it'll stop at the temperature you want. Um, I mean lead is the small is the lowest melting point. So if you put it to say 700, 725 uh, Fahrenheit, uh, which would be a little under 400 in Celsius, that would get you to that range where lead would melt the zinc and steel would float to the top if you don't have that capability then you're probably going to want to find out um, before you put them in so with that said that's what I'm doing now I don't have that capability 
um, to be able to hit a temperature and let it stay there. I can with my little electric furnace, but it's, you know, you got a crucible about yay big and it's just not going to work because, I mean, it's only about this tall. So, I need to figure it out ahead of time. So, my friend ran by today, picked up about three buckets of uh, steel weights. I grabbed a couple of handfuls just to see what the markings were and stuff on them. Um, of course, you've always got the magnet test, which will pull the steel out. But that's all the steel ones I've found. So you want to separate these and throw your steel into one pile, your zinc into one pile, and your lead into one pile. You don't want your zinc mixing with your lead, um, causes issues and all kinds of other stuff. So there's actually, there's a hit test. So, pretty sure these, let's find something here, uh, I'll just do it like this. So, those sound the same, what about this one? Sounds different. So if you get you a nice sized piece of metal and you whack them on there, you'll learn there's three different sounds and you can sort them that way if you want. But absolutely the best test is going to be the cut test because lead is the softest. Just like that, that's lead. No question about it. And you don't have to cut them in half, you just want to kind of grab them and squeeze. That's lead. It doesn't take much pressure to cut lead. So, I mean, we got all these with different numbers and stuff on them. They're lit. So far. So, that eliminates that problem. But you have to go through every single one of them to figure it out. It takes time. It is what it is. You know, if you flatten them all out. You can run a magnet over them and pull the steel ones out, but that's like an extra step, and it's just easier just to squeeze it. If you got a few people that can help you, you can knock it out in no time. So that's going to be how I test my wheel weights to find out which ones are lead, which ones are zinc, and uh, which ones are steel, so I know what to melt for what. And you can use these for a few different things. You can pour ingots with it that can be used depending on what size furnace you want. You can sell it after you turn it into pure lead. You can use it to make fishing weights. You can use it to pour your own ammo, all kinds of stuff. But this is just a free supply of lead. All you got to do is stop by and pick it up. Most places don't even want to fool with it. Because they got to pay somebody to haul it off and yeah. So I find most of the stuff I pick up and get from people, they give it to me just because they don't want to deal with it. They don't want to pay if it's a business. They don't want to pay somebody to go do it um, because they can make more money putting on tires. You know, they can put on a couple sets of tires instead of driving 45 minutes to go turn this lead in. So if you'll come get it. You know why not then they don't have to fool with it it's out of their way and everybody's happy so that's how you approach this stuff with people if it's something you're interested in some of them are painted all of them are dirty but when you go to melting them all that dirt paint steel clips all that floats to the top you'll scoop it right off and I will definitely make a video of that and show you how to clean it up and everything when I get to that point in the process. So right now I'm just stacking some, testing it, sorting it, and learning. Because y'all know I love to learn. If it's something I think I can do or whatever, and I've got a way to learn it, I'll learn it and put it to work. I mean, that's that by itself is a whole lot of weight and I've got a couple buckets full so hope you enjoyed this I'm gonna post it on all the channels so later when I have more subscribers on other channels you know if I'm pouring lead stuff for people they want it um, 
they'll be able to go back and see that video too. So, with that said, hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope it helped you. Yes, I probably should have gloves on instead of uh, playing with lead weights in my bare hands, but, you know, everybody takes their own risk in different ways. Y'all have a good one.